listen, this is a message to Trudeau personally and Canadian people. Two things, let's, before we start off, let me disarm them. First thing first, man. Hardly. First thing first, if my videos end up leading to someone going out there and protesting, let me make it clear. I don't encourage riots. I don't incite riots. If you go demonstrate, do it peacefully. That's the only type of anything I'm with. So they don't, <laughs> I'm just disarming them so they don't come and say, you inciting this and that. You can't do it to me. So if you go and demonstrate, do it peacefully. I don't incite riots. Never will, never did. I'm not with it. You can demonstrate peacefully. That's if you end up because of my video. So they don't come around saying I incite anything. That's one. Two is, I might drop a diss song, but I don't drop this information. And I always hit, I don't miss, no misinformation. So consider everything I say lies until you go check yourself. If I told you the sky is blue, okay, go check. It might be purple. Now that that's out the way, mom. Holiday. You know, I tend to attract a crowd that is sometimes they cut labels. You know, the conspiracy theory guys. And I'm not into conspiracy theories. Matter of fact, I'm about to break down to you what a deep state is. There's no such thing as a deep state. It's in your face. Son, money makes the world go around. Business is above politics. What business wants is what politics will end up doing. Big business, big corp. It is not some six people sitting in a room doing rituals. That might happen. But again, politics move in the interest of business. Not some Illuminati magic rituals. There's a war. It's a lot of people being paid. You understand? For example, what I'm trying to say is, first off, Trudeau, Trudeau, I was thinking about suing you, bro. Before the China virus, took over the world by storm. Being a liberal was different. I considered myself liberal. I never had a choice in the matter because I only lived in Canada for, I only lived in Canada since 2016. Before that, I didn't have things like a, Liberal as a crime where I'm from. What you mean liberal? That's an offense punishable by cap capital, aka the sword. But inside, I always lean towards libertarian views, you know? Justin Trudeau. As far as him doing, you know, good politics things, you know, money moves, all that. Ah, he never been the best. His people call him horrible. His people always said, Trudeau, the boys, da 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 I always stood against his haters and said, nah. 
conservatives, what I pictured them, think about it from my perspective. I'm in a rabies, Z. I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to save my neck, literally. I'm trying to seek a better life. What I pictured a conservative was, especially thanks to the Americans, the pictures they've been in, is it always was, um, get out of my country. Hmm? Son, I'm trying to breathe. Son, you created Al Qaeda. Don't forget. 1979, Soviets have invaded Afghanistan. You hit up your homies in Saudi, and you couldn't do spread. Who could? So don't turn around trying to, what? Get out of my country. So I never liked them people. I lean towards freedom of speech. You know what I'm saying? You get it. So I stayed down. And defended Trudeau because he was for immigration, for freedom. Da, da, da. That was good. But Trudeau changed. And he changed very recently. The Trudeau, I was willing to defend, or right or wrong, let me down on the basic principle that I went respected him for. I seen him as a drama teacher turned, you, know, you feel me, like a dude, dude, like not a Bill Clinton something. He was a drama teacher. Anyway, Bill C-11, see, post-pandemic, right? The ideals that are supposed to be liberal, libertarian, whatever, on the left hand spectrum. I always said I like the pirate party. Big one on my face. You know, I speak about transparency, open source software, because that's what I cared about. I was always a computer guy. Remember this point. Now, my views tend to attract a lot of people. God love ya. In the West. Who are on a conspiracy theory, mistrust of powers and you know, anti vaxxers, remember them? I never been cuckoo. No no, no I got Conspiracy theory is a theory. I hear everything out. But I go after fact and I move with reason and logic. And I know how politics work. That's why I don't sit and oppose every crazy thing because it is what it is. Joe, what's his name? Hunter. Shout out Hunter. I think Hunter is cool. He's human. Yeah, daddy, ooh, wrap it up, nothing happened. But Trump, bad guy, criminal. I always knew it was unfair. I learned to accept that early. I did a video about the, the red pill. That's the real red pill. <laughs> oh, the sooner you accept that and learn to live with it, I just didn't see it coming from my boy Trudeau, man. I don't sit here and look at politics all day. Only when it, like they say, freedom is peace. You got the freedom until your freedom or, uh, hurts other people. That's when I really speak, really. Like, when did I ever speak on what? Xi Jinping? He had slave camps. Think about that slave camps, 2023. Yet I got to argue with people online who are so virtuous. Great people. We love the world. We love people. But let somebody disagree, they'll eat them up. 
Them people had to look me bold mid pandemic. That's the stuff that made me become to get back to YouTube. I was rapping. I had to speak. I had a lot to say. I'm from Arabia. I didn't have freedom of speech 18 years of my life. Let me speak. Andrew Tate is dangerous. His ideas are dangerous. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that Andrew Tate is an angel. In fact, I knew Tate before he was famous. He was just funny. The only reason it hit y'all in the face, it didn't hit me that hard. You know why? Because I grew up in Arabia, son. Women couldn't drive until 2016. So the stuff he was saying was, was, was if you seen what I seen, Andrew Tate would be like a, <laughs> make him look like a toddler. I had to see the share. The woman can't drive, you know why? Because it is bad for her over here. Hmm? But I dare you to say he's lying or he's wrong. You're saying I'm wrong. <laughs> you are going against the will in the country of God, Allah. Next thing you know, you get your head chopped. So Andrew Tate wasn't there bother me. I just seen him as funny. <laughs> like you a pimp turned. Uh, 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 I get it. I don't judge. It. Funny dude. He was a voice in the Bitcoin community. Way before he was. In, 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 uh. But the problem is, you sat there worried about. People hated him. They didn't know why they hated him. That's what bothered me. I'm like, wait, what's he dangerous for? Uh, uh, give me, give me, give me. I believe you. I'm on the side of the truth. But what I didn't like is, who's, let me tell you something. I'm, I'm going to ask you this. You answer me. Who's dangerous? Andrew Tate or Xi Jinping? I don't see nobody. <laughs> if you've seen my Sudan is full of cowards video, I call them cowards and I stand on it. I felt bad, but I stand on it. You know why? Because the man sat on their head, the president, for 30 years. How long is five years? I was a different person five years ago. Imagine 10. How about 20? I'm 25 years old. He sat for 30 plus president. And people lived NPC as hell. Did it challenge him? I said they beat their children. But they said, that's good. You're Sudani. That's how men are. We beat them. Pa, 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 bleed. Ain't no CPS to call. In fact, you call for help, they tell your person, or they might beat you themselves, and tell the person who beat you, so now you can get beat again. Bleed. But all that bleeding that you had to endure because to be a real man, Something of blood spilling. When in the face of the dictators for 30 years, you sat quiet. I said, F Sudan, I'm done. Can't help somebody who don't want to help themselves. It's too late. <laughs> I'm done stressing. But I tell you like this, Trudeau. You betrayed me. Whether you was a dictator. No, no. Let me say it like this. 
countries, they do war crimes, for example, without names. They do horrible stuff. But they unite together. When you betray them, work for the other side, that's treason. Treason is bad. <laughs> no matter who, even if you're gangsters in the mafia, snitching treason. I defended you when you were wrong, son, Trudeau. And I knew you were wrong. I just stood for, 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 for what you stood for. I thought you stood for. And I minded my business away from that world. Then you turn around and slap me with C11? My views haven't been the same since. I paid money. The suppression is real. Trudeau, the internet, leave it alone. I don't come to Ottawa and come in your office and tell you, no, no, no. But see, it ain't with Trudeau. I mean, it's convenient. But let me tell you like this. This, this is the reality of what we live in, post C-11. When I told people, it was a lot of hate already in the air because of the bad economy, right? A lot of people ain't getting money. I get it. So out of, you know, hate or whatever, I don't know what it is. It's like, ah, uh, you mad? You can't say what you want online? F- fuck it. Let's see 11 pass. So we see how these people eat. Cool. Yeah, fuck me. Fuck my right. But here's what you did, son. Right now, I'll give you an example. Iran and Saudi Arabia made peace after thousands of years of beefing. I promise most of you never knew about it. The only news you get right now is the one they show you. You remember my China videos? They used to pop up. If you're in Canada, look them up. They won't show up at all. You got to dig in for me. Why? But I'll tell you what shows up. The, the people behind Bill C-11 anyway. The people who... see. <laughs> Hey, we're not getting money no more. The internet guy's taking over. Fix it, Trudeau. I got you. I'll shut him up. Now, here's the thing. Elon Musk bought Twitter and all that, right? He's been running Twitter like it's Telegram. (laughs) So the selected voices, imagine if Elon Musk wasn't there to remind you that when they hit you with the news that, hey, this media organization is funded by the Trudeau administration, the Liberal Party, whatever. And then Trudeau come back and say, nah, it ain't all the way funded. Elon Musk try to be funny. He said 69% funded. Who are you playing with, Trudeau? Painfully, I come to terms that people are NPCs and they let their rights go. And Bill C-11 is reality. AK been suppressed. And then Justin Trudeau, say, you know what he said? He got a YouTube channel now. You know me and Justin Trudeau got the same cameraman? So it's not crazy that he know of me. Because we that. <laughs> so Trudeau, you really trying to come? I know I'm goaded, but damn, bro. Everybody's still in my swag. Everybody trying to be podcast all of a sudden. Nah. Even Trudeau? Trudeau, do you YouTube? You don't need to put shut me up. 
Now, oh, cool. All of that. And now you come with C18, and it passed already. Pass one. Now you're not allowed to see news on Instagram and Facebook. Is it overreach? That's not overreach. What is? A lot of these videos I did, right? You know, stood by myself and you know, spoke on Xi Jinping. Did like four documentaries on to watch them disappear. Let me tell you something. If you've seen my Sudan video, if you see me just in public or speak when I when I was streaming live, you noticed, even I noticed, that I tend to get really, I don't want to say angry, but I get really emotional. And 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 and, and you could feel how I feel when I was trying to say that. Example, my auntie's a hero. She's a journalist, got assassinated. Well, you know why I got to say it over and over and repeat the fact that she's a hero and have to like, <laughs> have to like, you know, metaphorically speaking, pull out the sword. Bum ass bitches on Twitter, and stupid ass niggas who looking for a place to hit. Yeah, hit me there. I'll show you what's up. Well, you know what's sad about it? Not the fact that she, the fact that she passed away, how she passed away. The R word, S-A, not, not the crazy part. The body riddled in bullets traumatized my family for generation after generation. Not that part. Because to me, I'm not sad about that. In fact, I celebrate that. Not because I'm Jeffrey Dahmer. Because she's a hero. The men I mentioned, they used to beat their children, sometimes almost lifeless, bloody, bloody beatings that sat quiet in the face of dictators who did ethnic cleansing on them. The people right now who arrested Bashir, the good guys, they did ethnic cleansing. Before it was the rapid support forces, it was the Janjaweed guys. And they were up there doing the war crimes that Omar Bashir was charged for. When Yah finally, 30 years later, woke up and said, We want justice, we want her. He told you, hey, I mean, they still got the guns. They just aimed it at their boss and said, I'm boss. And now they're fighting in your city. They're not fighting to protect you. The army is there to protect you, right? And I said, no. Nah. They fight each other. RSF mercenaries who got rich from going to Yemen and doing Saudi's dirty work <laughs> for pay. That's all that is. I got distracted. The reason I get pissed off and fight people about my auntie, I'm proud of how she went out. She's a hero. But this is the sad part. This happened in the same reality where, like I said, the men had nothing to say for dictators. They just had it to say on everyone else. In such an environment, sympathizing with people like my auntie made you a, 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 a target either for pew, pew, pew. yeah they whack you clean or for the glass bottle i told you remind me to make a video about the glass bottle i'll give you a hint torture military torture of course you never heard about it want to know what they did with the glass bottle I make a Patreon for it. I'll tell you some details. I know stuff. I'll give you an entry because y'all don't want to remind me. I said like five, six times. Maybe I didn't tell you (laughs) 
you thought I'm talking about glass bottles like I do recycling? Picture this. You sympathize with a journalist that got whacked trying to free you. But since everybody, you know, <laughs> you're light skin, you're dark skin, ethnic cleansing, uh, this tribe, that tribe, y'all black, nigga. You're a nigga, he's a nigga. Y'all ended up starting an ethnic hostility with South Sudan? And there, a motherfucker from my Sudan, shout out to South Sudan. The propaganda, if you're from South watching me thinking I'm with the Arabs, I grew up in Arabia. But I'm not with the Arab Sudan. Fuck them. They are not better than you. These ideas were put in people's heads to superior. No, bitch. You speak Arabic. You got Arabic from slavery via the sword. Even though I love Arabian culture, but let's keep it a hundred. These people kept uh, 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 Wakanda, the real one. Yes, Sudan. Don't let some Ethiopians come talking about the ancestors or something. I love y'all, but let's keep it a hundred. Pyramids were built by my... Come on. Most of the pyramids in Sudan, Cindy, where I grew up, I'm real descendant of them. So I get pissed off because most people did not imagine, imagine your mind and you start writing some truth and you get popped for it and you guys heard it by now. And people, instead of at least remembering you as some hero, they choose to ignore you. As a matter of fact, they try to, uh, 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 uh. you know how like in an arc word, S-A, in the Middle East, they do victim blaming. I swear to God. Because this person might you know, be married to an officer of the law, and how dare you, you know, bring uh, these ideologies around? You know, what? So y'all didn't even give her the, the no, no. I'll give her the credit. I'll fight for that credit. Because all you men did nothing. She did. She paid the price with her life. And y'all sat and act like y'all don't know. No, no. I'll tell you. I'll let you know. If you got a problem with it, come see me. Metaphorically, I don't promote dirty violence, but that, that's what it is. And now I live in Canada. Besides the people who are willing to explore the so-called conspiracy theories, doubt and People who have critical thinking, which seems to be gone, people who rather tell you Andrew Tate is dangerous, but Xi Jinping, either they... It's one thing to be asleep or pretend to sleep. If you sleep, I can wake you up. If you're pretending to sleep, I'm not going to waste my time. But don't don't sit here and play the morality police or, or or play morally superior. Play holier than thou. MashaAllah. Justin Trudeau just wants to clear the 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 the, the negative news out of your head. They're gonna find news one way or another. Because one thing about it. You stopped the sources you don't want speaking, including myself, son. And the NPCs, too busy. I tell you, like, I'll come to them. 
But the reason I come here and, and, and make myself look crazy to y'all and continue to do it over the years is because I'm not doing it for play, bitch. Sometimes I turn monetization off because some of these videos I don't do for money, pussy. You think I wasn't risking my life? Telling you some details I told you? Why? Why do I sit here and yell about freedom of speech and why we should protect it? You're crazy. No, I'm not crazy, pussy. Because for 18 years, I didn't have it. Because I've seen what it's like to not have it so much to the point where someone challenges. Ah, they are word them. They S-A-M. Not like Bill Cosby. Like a military type. Glass bottles, sticks, and stones. The type to really break your bones into pieces. If you want a video about it, I'll tell you. But then people can't even feel bad for you. If you grew up in such a place, you understand why I fight for it with my life. I risk my life to. If I had the mental patience, I would sue Justin Trudeau for damaging my YouTube career, for infringing on the, 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 the Canadian Charter of Rights, right? But I ain't no snitch, Trudeau. I'm just here speaking to you as a man. Bill C-11? Hmm, suppress me. Bill C-18? What the fuck? Bill C-18 removed the news off of Instagram. You know what was the news right before it passed? As he was trying to pass it? That he was criminally under investigation by the RCMC, whatever. Canadian version of FBI. All right, the feds. Yeah, Trudeau was... They're trying to give him the Rico. <laughs> Young thug? If you pay attention to what's been happening, every time he try to silence you, you realize why he's trying to silence you. C-11 was for the companies, sure, but this man been bought by China. And the reason I ain't going to sue you, I just talk shit to you, is because I hope that you are such a nice guy that the Chinese are just extorting you and you're just in a bad place. Because I know how the Chinese work. Xi Jinping. It's mafia, triads. Swords and just like Arabia thinking. More extreme though. Yeah, don't be fooled by Winnie the Pooh. In China, you can't speak about Tiananmen Square. Yet, you go into WEF, he talking about, that's a great thing. No, pussy. What, what about it is great? Social credit score? Great for who? Klaus Schwab, Charles Schwab, whatever your name is. YouTube team, I am not bullying and harassing because he is the biggest bully in the world, pussy. He looked like a frog. That's just the observation, not bullying. Pussy. Nigga, you on your way out. I don't wish you death. I wish you a long life. The path to repentance is never closed. Nigga, give me a hug, Char Schwab. I'm traumatized like you. You up there writing books about uh, justifying nuking hundreds of thousands of people. I know you don't got no conscience, but... I'm not one of the mental health uh, pretending bitches. I understand that that's a coping mechanism and you come from a different era. Nigga, I get it. But it don't have to be like that. You don't got to get revenge on the world with WEF. Motherfucker. Nigga, people, I'll tell you like this. 
for the people, I told, I spoke to y'all. Fight for your rights or you lose them. Keep being an NPC till they drop. They give you C11, C18. Next thing they're going to give you C4. Ha ha ha. We blow up your phone if you watch AK. Joshua, pussy. Here's one thing you got to understand. And Joe Biden, this is for you too, bitch. Because I used to support you too. You let me know. Everything I stood for, y'all violated my face. So fuck you for that. Freedom of speech, anti-censorship, that's a conservative thing now. Huh? It's like I've been... What? Cool. The, 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 the cinematics, the theatrics are for the masses. I understand how this works, my son. I'm not here thinking you're a bad guy or one of them assholes who wish death on... Wish bad on people in power. Oh, fuck it, you know? No, I understand. I don't vilify some things. You're a war criminal. Things have to be done. I get it. I know how it works. So I address you as a brother. I address you as your... I address you as your brother, man. You too, Charles Schwab. I'm your brother. Charles Schwab, man, you got enough money to... to, to, to. You got enough money, power, and reach to leave a legacy. You're on your way out. All this money, all this power, all the new king, hundreds of thousands. I don't know what you're trying to get revenge on the world for. You're old. Whoever bullied you, my brother, back then, <laughs> probably didn't make it to see you at this age because he ain't rich like you. But they don't got to dream no crown. I bet. If you turn to a positive outlook on life and think about leaving a legacy, because that's all that's going to be left. You want to be remembered as a guy who gave the world central bank digital currency and, 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 and did what he did, what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Dog, like between me and you, Charles, come here. I speak to you as a homie, Charles. Charles, you got all the money and the power, nigga. You wake up every day, you put the suit. This is an acceptable Chinese great. Bruh, fuck that shit. Take the suit off. You really wake up and put the suit on. You don't you don't have to. You can fuck all the bitches you want. And they won't say you look like a frog. They say, Daddy. Hmm? You can afford to look as good as you want. Top cosmetic uh, adrenochrome secret. Uh, you got it all. I bet you, you, wanted, you did things to get in this position. But don't get addicted to the cycle of power. The brother, you need rehab, my brother. That power is a drug. I can see you hooked. But here's the thing, son. Even though you are a victim, I, I sympathize. I'm trying to tell you that, nigga, there's bitches out there that'll take this froggy dick of yours. Happily. You and Bill. Bill Gates. They got Melinda, either get back with Melinda. If, she, if Melinda, I'm talking as a man. Maybe, listen. Maybe you get four wives. All right? If Melinda ain't with the program, you're Bill Gates. You're cool. You seen Bill Gates at the club? He probably does more than me. You take my bitch. She ain't going to call you grandpa. Young bitches like older men. 
They don't gotta be pizza, young. I know why Melinda left, but I ain't gonna fault you. I'm gonna say that you are changing, Bill. Because it is what it is. <sighs> Y'all got enough money to link up and think about a legacy. Nobel Prize was invented by the same dude who invented TNT Dynamite. Kaboom! He made it. He seen what it does. He seen it be used to cause so much harm and destruction. He said, damn, they gonna remember me as dude who, they gonna say F, F you in the grave. So he created the Nobel Prize to be given for peaceful people before it got politicized. Now I ain't stupid. And for my conspiracy theory, guys, I got you. I'm gonna clean your mind out of the confusion. When you're in conspiracy theory land, you're getting closer to the truth, but you think it's hidden from you. Think Illuminati. Are you a Freemason? No, bitch, but I wanna be. Look up what it is. It's like hippie stuff. It's not devil worship. I found out after doing simple research. It's the age of information. Stop watching TikToks and Google some. Before they take that right, Bill C21. No more Googling. Shrab, Josh Shrab, leave Justin Trudeau alone. He don't need no tutoring. This world leader training program that you got. If you're going to train them, train them right. I see you teaching them how to play these games with the... Yeah, Canada sent 200 and some of trucks. And they seized the Russian plane. Canada needs to stay out of this bullshit. Do you agree? Don't drag Canada in the beef. Because when it's time to fight, nukes get sent and missiles get done, bullets get shot. You sit in your office comfortably. Oh, that's so sad. We suffer casualties. It happens in war. It is what it is. No, bitch. These are human beings, not GTA characters. As for the people, let me deal with conspiracy theory. Conspiracy theory, listen to me, bro. There is no devil worshiping people that are trying to. Maybe it is, but <laughs> it ain't that. What controls the government, what you think is the deep state, it's not that deep. It's in front of your face. It's business. It's not a secret. Whether through lobbying or through this lobby, this is the basement, two basement under the table, bribes or whatever. It's the name of the game. Money make the world go. <laughs> That's how we get. C eleven. So there so stop stop with the deep state and the Illuminati. W E F is in front of your face every year. When I told you they want to implement social credit and you own nothing, and Bitcoin is bad, of course. And never. I put this on my head because it's ideology. So even if they take out AK, you can't kill the ideology. We are all Satoshi. No matter how much mental gymnastics you pull off to tell me that central bank digital currency is good and Bitcoin is bad and all that. Here's one thing. One plus one equals two. No matter whatever, who's telling who what, no matter what the NPCs believe, you cannot defeat mathematics. That's why Satoshi is 
It's not about me making money. Profit, invest. Fuck that. Countries, people, pe- people in their homes. I don't want to hear about politics, man. Talk about something else. Pussy ass nigga. When you speak, when you meet the cab driver <laughs> from an Arab country, you ask him about his best. He goes, he going he he knows about politics. Of course, he got opinions. You know why? Not the Arab dude in the who grew up here party with you at BC like you his dad ask his dad his uncle they of course have opinions and beliefs and stuff they have to you know why because when you live in a place my friend you try to have you try to not care for politics video games McDonald's jerk off video games you suck uh huh fuck the rich Fuck you, cause you're rich. Ha ha ha. And a missile hits you in your head while you're in your home, and the world tell you that's not my problem. When you try to get out of my country, <laughs> not caring about politics is not an option, nigga. Whether you speak it out or not. And one thing about it, United, this is the Canadian superpower. Canada's not perfect, I know. We are united more than the world. Gay, straight, black, white, Chinese, Balinese, uh, Asian, sorry, Persian, French. Jew- we all get along here. We all get along. We all get along. But let's not get along to be NPCs. We got grown men and women talking about Andrew Tate. But Xi Jinping bought your president and is intimidating other people in the speaker's office to vote certain ways. The feds investigate Trudeau. And announce it and come back and say insufficient evidence as if dude wasn't just, I know it's true though, but everybody sees what it is. And the next day, the next day, right away, uh, Bill C-22 passes, or C-18 was it? Really, nigga? Trudeau. For the people, either fight for your rights or you lose them. If you want to wait to try what it's like to lose them, have fun. I already lived through dictatorships and shit like that. I know how to survive. (laughs) Central Bank, Bitcoin is bad. Central Bank is good. Oh my God, what are they putting in our water nowadays? Blip, your money's gone. Hate on that. C11 ain't about me making YouTube views, nigga. You don't even know Iran and Saudi made peace. It's by design. But when they knew Qasem Soleimani uh, hit him with the drone strike, everybody knew that they hit in Iran. But they didn't know who Qasem was. And yet, you want to sit here on Instagram and say, you must remove it. It's bad. And you Tate? Twitter, Facebook. He's bad. He must go. He's dangerous, dangerous. Bitch ass nigga, you sitting up there with the same. So Andrew Tate is dangerous as fuck. And he deserved jail. But Xi Jinping running slave camps on your bitch ass. Threatening people if they leave and speak, he'll kill their family. 
and punish them for generation after the three generation rule. The population is not a conspiracy theory there. You're not allowed to have more than a certain number of kids and shit. And the CBC nightmare already happened three, four times. Go look up. Him trying to world dominate, world dominations. Sudan, they did it. They came loan sharking like the mafia. On a, on a scale of a country doing it. Set you up with bad loans. <laughs> so they can set up shop. And basically extortion and shit like that. Like, They don't go to jail for that. That's not dangerous, bitch. They spill blood over it. You're not allowed to talk about that. Trudeau sit up there and hide that shit for him. And when other politicians in the speaker office, they want to be truthful, they get intimidated. People pull up. Why you think the feds investigated Trudeau, son? Trudeau, if you come with see something else tomorrow, try to take away. The world is already crazy as it is. I can't do fans only, son. I don't have no big... Uh, you want to come play with my bread on YouTube and take... Uh, even if I don't sue you, somebody gonna sue you, nigga. Leave Charles Schwab alone. You got your wife. Work on your legacy. Do your politic games, get your money, but son. People gonna remember you like that. You and Schwab, the frog. You're sitting up there defending dude who actively running slave camps. Not in the past. Not a hundred years ago. Right now they're slaves. Why you sit here and play video games? I don't, don't want to talk about it. Yeah, they don't got that option. But that's okay. Andrew Tate is dangerous though. Get the fuck out of my face. He likes my subscribe. I'm pissed off already. I'm pissed off at the people. Y'all let these pass. Go visit a dictatorship. Stay there for a year. And when you come back, you'll see why I... <laughs> we'll take these rights for granted. 